Well, sawed and snatched. Catalytic converter thefts are soaring statewide. We found out the uptick is actually grabbing the attention of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. That's how common this is now. News 6 is Nikki Zaza is live in Sanford for us where a business was just recently targeted in all this. Nikki. Well, Matt, it's a quick and easy job for an experienced thief, and investigators tell me that there is an uptick in catalytic converter thefts, and it's gotten so bad that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has asked to assist in some of these investigations across Central Florida. News 6 first told you about a wave of catalytic converter thefts sweeping Volusia and Flagler County in March. But I didn't realize that stealing them was a thing. Since our report, two more central Florida counties have been hit with a rash of thefts, Seminole and Lake County. Catalytic converters are easy to get off the cars. Um, it can happen anywhere between two and three minutes. Lieutenant Fred Jones says thieves crawl under a vehicle, cut out the converter with a saw for precious metals, which they can resell. Those items that depend on the size of the vehicle, um, between $100 and $200 if you're talking about a box truck. According to this report, Lake County Sheriff's deputies arrested these two men, William Marvin Langston and Daniel Wade Hare, in connection to a catalytic converter theft at this construction site. We have probably three dozen cases or a little more than that. The same scenario playing out in Sanford. The business released this surveillance video after thieves made off with 15 converters from vehicles in the parking lot. In Mount Dora, police want help identifying this person seen in this still image after a catalytic converter was stolen from Lake Harris Food Pantry twice. It's a growing problem, Lieutenant Jones says, has prompted the state to step in. We're sharing information with FDLE. Um, they're sharing information and hope we can get together and figure out you know, how to stop this. Now, Sanford police hope someone can identify the two individuals you saw in that surveillance video. Meanwhile, Lake County Sheriff's Office say they are working with Tavares Police Department to investigate some of these outstanding thefts. From live in Sanford, Nikki Zizaza getting results, New 6. Nikki, thank you.